Today we are here to discuss about VPC. VPC stands for Virtual Port Channel. VPC is an enhancement to a regular port channel. A regular port channel gives you link level redundancy. We create a regular port channel between a pair of switches which allows you to have multiple links aggregated into a single port channel and provide you redundancy. However, a regular port channel does not give you device level redundancy. If your upstream switch goes down, then the entire port channel goes down. This is where VPC comes to the rescue. VPC allows you to terminate a port channel from a single downstream device to a pair of Nexus switches. This is achieved with the help of VPC domain. Two Nexus switches are part of a single VPC domain which makes it represent as a one single switch for the downstream device. This will allow you link level redundancy as well as device level redundancy. If one switch goes down, the port channel will still be up and running and your traffic can be forwarded via the available device. Now, VPC is supported by multiple Nexus switches. Nexus 9K, Nexus 7K, Nexus 6K and Nexus 5K are the models which support VPC technology. Let us talk more about VPC domain. VPC domain is a logical container which consists of a pair of Nexus switches and it helps you terminate the port channel on this VPC domain. In one VPC domain, we can have only two Nexus switches. These Nexus switches has to be of the same model and should run the same NXOS version. There are different terminologies which we have in a VPC domain. VPC domain consists of VPC peers. VPC peers are nothing but the switches participating in the VPC domain. A VPC domain also consists of a VPC peer link. VPC peer link is the layer 2 trunk port channel which basically allows VPC VLANs and acts like a control plane for the negotiation of these two VPC switches. We also have VPC Peer Keep Alive. VPC Peer Keep Alive is a layer 3 reachability which allows you to send VPC hello packets between the VPC switches. Apart from this, the downstream port channel which we create is known as a VPC. In one single VPC domain, we can have multiple VPC port channels created. This would depend upon the model of the Nexus switch and the Nexus version running inside it. That's it for today. To know more about VPC, kindly reach out to fmetricsolutions.com.